Hello and welcome, I'm Brian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a compressor to your drum bus. Compressor is one of the dynamic processor. Normally in a compressor, you can find there are four main settings. Number one is the ratio, number two is the threshold, and followed by the attack, and finally the release. So I'm going to talk about all these four by using a plugin that is very graphical so you can see what's happening with all the settings that you change. First, I'm going to use the dynamic one. Now, as you can see, graphical output will show you that for every input of your audio signal will be the equal output, the 45 degree diagonal line here. Now, let's just take a look at that. Okay, can you see that? So there's no compression happening here. What we're going to do now is to modify the ratio. Now the ratio will show the default is 1 to 1. So basically this line is showing that there is 1 to 1. So this is the output, right? So which means for every 1 decibel of the input, it will be the same amount of output. Now if you modify this value, so it will show that for every, uh, let's say if we set to somewhere here right for example for every 3.6 of the decibel input it will be compressed to one decibel so that's why you see that the graph or the line will change slightly okay so now when we play back so you can see that the graph here it shows there's some lines going down, the yellow line going down. So that means there's some compression happening. So it's pushing down the volume, pushing down the volume. Now, when the volume is going to push down, now when the volume above or across the threshold, now this is the threshold, or you can set the threshold. So which means for every minus 10 dB, of the signal it will be pushed down according to your ratio right so now if i lower down the threshold over here now at the same time you will notice the volume will get softer and softer because you are lowering down the overall volume isn't it okay as you can see that it will like going down further going down further but according to the ratio that you set so as you can see that for every a signal that is above the minus 22.5 dB it will get pushed according to your ratio setting so as you can see if you go over here so your real volume output will be somewhere over here right so this graph will show that so that is your ratio and the threshold now of course when you push down the threshold right so since it's getting softer so some more advanced plugin they have this gain to make up the volume so you can increase back the volume okay so you can see that the transient now if you go back to the original you can see that right so now next thing that you can set would be the attack so the attack you can increase the attack in millisecond so we mean the slower the compression will start to react. So you can see that the line now become smoother. Okay, when I lower the attack time, the compression will start immediately, almost immediately because of the 20 millisecond is so fast. And then the overseed is the release time. So if I increase the release time, so you can see that the graph will show the yellow line will be going back to the original volume, but in a very slow pace. So that's what you get. So if you want the faster release, go back to the original volume so you can decrease the, of the time. Well, that's the basic of the compressor. You have ratio, threshold, attack and release. Thank you for watching.